Now at 7, a push to make one of Orlando's busiest roads safer for cars and people. The search for those safety solutions has been in the works for years. Yeah, it sure has. And tonight, the overhaul of Kareen Drive is finally on the horizon. I learned some of those ideas are already being tested out, and not everyone in Audubon Park is happy with the results. Filled with dozens of hip, unique, locally owned shops and restaurants, Green Drive is one of the coolest blocks in Orlando. Winter Park's right there, Bowman Park's right there, College Park, Audubon Park, you got everything right here, Lou Gardens. I mean, it's so century located, you can go anywhere you want in a few minutes, as long as you can get through the traffic here. Gene Willard has watched the traffic get worse as Audubon Park's popularity and population has boomed. Here. Here you know. Since 1979, he's owned Willard Appliance, operating out of this very building all 44 years. In that time, though, he says very few improvements have been made to Kareen Drive itself. As you can see, the road needs to be paved and striped. Or it's parking problem. People are parking across the street, walking across the road in the middle of the day, evening, mornings, because they can't find any parking. Meshing cars, community, and culture here is something the city of Orlando is working on. Just last year, a new signaled crosswalk was installed near the always packed East End Market. For me, the crosswalk is life changing. Juliet Wallen says she uses it every day to take her kids to and from Audubon Park K through 8. Before that crosswalk was there, we had to you know, do the intersection bit, which could be a little dangerous because there's just a lot of cars and traffic. But it's just the start of what's expected to be a $20 million overhaul. While still in the early planning phases, the city wants to put Kareen Drive on a diet, a road diet, squeezing and reducing lanes with safety in mind. When you have a large thoroughfare with four lanes and a turn lane, it is a wide open space and ten people tend to go as fast as their car will go, not as fast as the speed limit. Orlando City Commissioner Robert Stewart says the design also includes adding more crosswalks, sidewalks, and biking lanes. In fact, these temporary bike lanes were put in just a few weeks ago with the goal of getting feedback from the community. For Jeff Palmer, who owns Palmer's Garden and Goods, that feedback will be negative. I've seen a couple of our customers, in fact, uh, run into it. I've seen some near misses with bikes and pedestrians. I've seen some interruption in business operations down uh, where the parking is a little bit more scarce. What I haven't seen really a lot of are people using it. And since the lanes replaced the number of his parking spots, he says it's hurting his bottom line. I definitely can tell that our sales are down since its installation. What I don't like about the temporary thing is that uh, when the real bike path gets put in, there will be other traffic calming elements to it that will slow the traffic down. So when you're putting it in without those elements, it's just, it creates a dangerous situation. And as it stands now, construction is expected to get underway in 2025 or 2026. And when it comes to parking, that issue of parking, Commissioner Stewart told me the city is talking with the Orange County School Board to see if some visitors can use the parking lot at Audubon Park School after school hours and ginger that would provide an additional 80 spaces i know you've been through there oh my gosh that i would love make that a area. difference yeah a huge difference and parking is a big problem mm -hmm. and even i ride my bike through that area too and i mean you really take your chances sometimes you have to be really careful absolutely mm -hmm. crosswalks are a big help there